Hello everyone, it's Mass here, and for those of you who are a LEGO purist, I advise you look away now, because there are some custom elements that you're about to see. Last chance, and gone. And this, everyone, is a three-car airport shuttle. Um, this is actually using uh, a 4D bricks product, um, which I have previously shown off uh, many, many weeks if not months ago now and i have finally almost completed the actual rebuild into a three car version um so i'm going to go from start to finish and show you the changes and the first major change if you include the additional car is actually to this end car and normally uh, this section here would be occupied by a battery meaning that only from this section onwards would actually be for passengers. Um, so obviously with the centre car, all that space, all the battery and all that section is actually moved to the middle car now. Um, so we have a full car's length of space available. Um, and as such, this is actually now just a mirror of the other car. And therefore, if I put my hand one hand here instead of the car body, if I lift this up now, you can actually see that there are seats inside um, and there's actually a passenger um, who's sitting there watching the world go by as the shuttle runs along the track. Um, so there's not too much here in terms of build that's different from the original. The only difference is obviously the fact that it's actually just been mirrored the opposite way to the uh, official instructions and that's not as easy as it sounds um, but it is more or less complete. Um, there is only one thing which is actually wrong with this car, and if I gently pull, clear. there we go, and it is actually the end here, um, and that panel is actually supposed to be a 2x3 panel in red, and it's actually in black at the moment, and a replacement panel is on the way, um, but I do actually need a second one for the middle part, so I'm still one short. Um, but aside from that, this car is actually complete now, um, including the panels and everything else. So let's move on to the biggest one, and that is the middle car. And here is the middle car. Now, as you can see, this battery box is actually missing the airport shuttle sticker. Um, and what I'm going to do is that there are some third party um, stickers you can get on eBay, um, which I'm going to look to purchase. So I can actually re-complete the stickers on everywhere else of the uh, airport shuttle set that I have. Um, as there's various logos missing, uh, such as the Bo burger logo from the food um, seller. Uh, they're missing the logo from the top of the airport station, um, the sticker here and a few of the others as well um so what is different about this car as a middle car compared to a standard one well the first thing you'll notice is that it's actually only 16 studs in length compared to the standard car of 20 and that's because the four studs at the end are normally reserved for the driver's canopy so as a as you like trailing vehicle this doesn't actually have to have any now, if I open this up, uh, you can see, that, as you've no doubt seen, there's actually a passenger compartment on the inside, um, and it has a little passenger in, mm. yeah. um, and this is there um, really just because it's a mirror, it sort of follows the original instructions with a few changes, um, so there's a couple of seats here for passengers who are going to the airport, or maybe coming away from the airport. Um, so that there is a full complement of seating available. Um, and this actually increases the seating on the airport shuttle from the original six, adding another four to make it a full ten. So you can have ten passengers in total riding the airport shuttle now at any one time. Um, those that are sat down, of course. Um, so there's ten seats in here. And they can all sit down um, and... Like the end unit, uh, which is just here, and you can actually see it now in person, uh, just here, where my finger's pointing on the left-hand side, left side here. Um, the panel here 
uh, is the wrong type. It's a reinforced one and it's in black and that needs to change to red to match the end of the car here. Um, and aside from that, this car is also complete and as you can see, here's the battery box and then the controls for turning it on and off are there, um, which I'm not going to do because I don't know how it was, it was in neutral. Um, so if I push this down out like that and then it's going to lift this off the track so it doesn't start off. Once you hear the motor there, you can actually see that it actually goes as well. Um, so that the battery might actually need replacing because it's been there a while. Um, so as you can see, it is a pretty much complete three car airport shuttle uh, monorail with the exception of the two panel pieces. Um, so the only other thing that I need to do for this is maybe just uh, reaffirm some of the bricks. Uh, for example, in the end car, because they're not quite down fully, like that. Um, maybe just run through a bit of structural integrity, maybe a bit of light dusting, um, and obviously sourcing the replacement seeker sheet. But otherwise, that's the train complete. And I'll just show, uh, take a couple of photos for you um, to finish off the video. And I'm Matt, and I'll see you in the next video.